Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to another live stream. It's September 22nd. It's Friday. Can't believe it's Friday. These weeks go by super fast. But we're back at the drawing board. I haven't done really any drawing or uh, digital painting or anything in a while. We've been really, well, I've been drawing a lot and animating, though. So uh, we haven't done any illustrations in a while. So we thought it'd be fun to sit down, do an illustration with you guys today. Uh, Sunday is World Gorilla Day. And we're always all about all the animals. And so uh, since I'm not going to be drawing for you guys on Sunday, we thought it'd be fun to do a gorilla-themed character or drawing or something like that today. So that's what I'm going to focus on. But we've got my son Travis, or Travis. <laughs> we got my son Dustin. That was weird. Now we've got my son Dustin Blaze with us, and we got Nick Birch. And, Hello, everybody. Uh, Hello. That's half the company right there. And um, so we're all going to be working away. Um, before I get started, we've always got sales and, and housekeeping to take care of. So I'm going to pass it over to Nick and uh, he can talk about what we've got going on. Yeah, we're getting a little bit of an echo and a sound. So let's let's draw first and then I'll jump to the sales. I'll OK, yeah. yeah. Is that the same echo that we were hearing earlier? Kind of like a, like, it's in, like in a stadium. It's just you. I'm looking into it. OK, well, I'm going to go ahead and start drawing and then we'll tell you about some of our sales. Yep in a little while but um i thought it'd be fun to do like a gorilla in a suit i don't know just something simple gorillas are big and burly and and i just thought putting them in a in a, in a suit type character would be kind of fun these were some little sketches i was doing earlier just warming up and uh doing some little gestures and uh Yeah, I see it. It was not Sorry, guys. Bear with us one second. Hello. Hello. You see our green screen? Yeah. That's uh, that's where we do all of our shooting, where we need a green screen. Go back to the other scene, Dustin, because I... I don't, I need to see the camera. Okay, there we go. Turn that guy off. And that should fix that. And fix sound preferences. See if that works. That goes very slight. This sounds like you're going to chip. Let me do it down here. Oh, sorry. Let me get it all the way over. I'll let you do this. That's good right there. All right. We are back. All sorry right. about that, guys. Weren't prepared. So, like I said, I want to do this gorilla in a suit and i thought it'd be kind of fun just to goof around a little bit but um i'm gonna there we go on the uh the those reference images uh Asking is that ban <laughs> banana can in the in the middle? Yeah, like a banana suit. Yeah, it was a dude with a banana suit. I just thought it was funny. Thought it would be funny. Uh, what paper and pencils do you use? Well, today I'm working digitally, 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 Dig digitally, digitally. But um. Did you do any animation on Tarzan? Uh, no, I was, I was, but paper and pencil, I use a, a lot of times I'm just using, uh, if I'm just doing regular drawing, it's usually like a, a 50 or 60 pound uh, drawing paper. And then um, I, uh, I use, um, for pencils, I use a, a 
a high uni Mitsubishi 10B pencil. Uh, for people who want to know, he is drawing in Photoshop. Yes. So I can hit those sales now if you want. <clears throat> want to let people know that over at FeatureArtTeacher.com, which is Aaron's website, we've got over 700 hours of art and animation lessons on sale. And actually, we are starting our fall sale. Tomorrow is the first day of fall. And over at Creature Art Teacher, if you buy one course, you can get one for 50% off. That's any single art lesson, animation tutorial, brush, uh, brush set, uh, photo pack, etc. You can get uh, another one of equal or lesser value for 50% off. Also, speaking of those 700 hours of art and animation courses, we just released a brand new course on storyboarding today. Actually, Woody Woodman's uh, storyboarding with Woody Woodman. Woody is an industry veteran, story artist, and director. He's worked for uh, Disney. He's worked for Lucas. He's worked all over the world. Um, uh, did storyboards for Tarzan. Well, sorry, Treasure Planet, Brother Bear, tons of other projects. Yeah, he and worked. He, he worked with me on Brother Bear. Yeah, as a story and artist. His uh, his project or uh, his storyboard course is out today. It's out now. You can go get it. And we've extended the 50% off sale on that uh, for the rest of the day. So you can actually still get that for its pre-order price. But that ends tonight at midnight. If you go over to PreacherOurTeacher.com, you can get that now. Get it while it's hot. And then we also want to let you know that our good friend Armand Serrano is having his event, Icon Manila. That is an online and in-person event. So there are still tickets available for both. He's actually on a plane right now heading over to the Philippines for the in-person portion of it. But if you head over to iconmanila.org, you can learn more about it. It's Armand, a bunch of other amazing concept artists, um, George Hull, Bobby P uh, Pontius, all kinds of people. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is the 10th year that they've, they've been, been doing it. Yeah. And uh, uh, Armand is Filipino, and it's his way of giving back. So they... they um, they do this each year, and um, they raise money, and it all goes back back into the Philippines and uh, uh, hurricane relief or typhoon because it's in the Pacific. It's typhoon relief fund, so it helps people uh, rebuild their homes, uh, just helps people get back on their feet, all that. It's a very good cause. So yeah, that's it. Let's dive back into the drone. All right. Uh, Caster says, "Have you heard there's a once upon a studio short film?" Uh, going to be on Disney Plus for Disney's 100th anniversary. Yes. They're pulling out a whole bunch of old characters. Aaron, when you're doing these exploration sketches for a gorilla, what are you looking for? I'm looking for shape. I'm looking for expression, emotion. Um, I'm trying to simplify. I'm trying to caricature. Um, I'm looking at, you know, a gorilla's natural shape. You know, their heads are long. You know, from back to front, they're very long, uh, boxy. So I'm trying to get really, and, I, and they're heavy, you know, they're big. And um, so I'm trying to get attitude. Have you ever tried 3D modeling with something like ZBrush, Maya, or Blender? Uh, I have not. Is that something I've never really done any, I've never done any modeling like that, the digital modeling. Anyway, so it seems like something I would like to do. Kind of liking that attitude. So all I'm doing right now is I'm exploring. I just want to, I want to come up with, I want to come up with a nice pose. Whoops. Um, and, uh, and see what I can do with that. And I, like I said, I want it to be this gorilla kind of in a, a three-piece suit. Any special reason you're drawing gorillas today? It is World Gorilla Day on Sunday. And so we thought, hey, why not, why not do some gorillas today? And World Gorilla Day is a day kind of intended to... This brings awareness and uh, 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 encourages 
people uh, conservation. To, yeah, and... exactly. People to donate to charities that protect gorillas. You know, there's a lot of uh, people doing a lot of great work out there. I'll post some links soon. So you can see how loose I start. And, you know, I try to find nice gesture working very, very loose to begin with. For that uh, uh, 100th anniversary uh, short short animation, uh, what character would you want would you want to have drawn or animate again? Oh, Beast! I would love to do Beast again. So here, what I'm trying to do here, I want to get this. I'm liking these proportions now. I just want to get. I want to get a little bit more dynamic. Do you have any pets? Oh, yes. We've got, we've got fish. fish. We've got cats. We've got dogs. We've got a bunny. We've got a rabbit. We've got a bunny rabbit. And, uh, just curious about your drawing posture. Do you find it comfortable with the uh, drawing hand hanging? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I, I have no problem drawing like this. I've been drawing like this for a long time. So, no, I don't have any problem there. So, what I want to do, I'm trying to get a little shift in the. You know what I might do? Let's try. If you switch views, some, some people are saying with the sound. Sound just cut out. You see. No. Audio mic is on. Is it? Is my are we coming through on your end? Maybe it's just Instagram. So here we are. <clears throat> yeah. Good and sound. Maybe they just need to refresh. And say, someone's saying that the audio is fine there, just a little echo, but that's too bad. Uh, from Facebook, have you ever been to Thailand and uh, and or Laos? Yes, I've been to Thailand and uh, really enjoyed it. Yeah, sound. Sometimes, sometimes the sound drops out on this thing. I never said on the previous stream, people said that. It's very peculiar. So here, I like I like this pose. I love, obviously, you can tell I, I love drawing these guys. So I'm gonna put him off. Any tips on when it comes to uh, making smooth animations, please? Yeah, I mean, it's you, you, there's a lot of things to think about. You got to think about arcs. You've got to think about slow ins and slow outs, um, anticipation. All of these contribute to having fluid animation. There's lots of things to think about when it comes to that. But those are, you know, slow ins and slow outs. That's the that's the big one. How did you study animals? Did you uh, do it live or through pictures? Both. I've done it both. Do you have any tips for making a single pose feel alive? Um, yeah, it's it's looking for weight. It's, that's kind of what I'm doing now. I'm trying to find the weight in my subject here. And uh, there we go. Might even push him this way. Um, fluidity. You know, you want to find that that flow through the body. which is what I'm trying to do here. Uh, 
Instagram question. When did you start taking an interest in art? I, I feel like I started taking an interest around the age of three. Yeah, probably about that age, maybe a little younger for me. Um, it was, uh, I was always drawing. And uh, my mother would set me up in my high chair with, uh, you know, cut up grocery bags, old paper grocery bags. And I would draw on those. When did you start taking an interest in art? First thing I started. <laughs> Dustin, didn't you just hear that? That's the question I just answered. I'm sorry. I was looking, I was scanning through multiple comments. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> I have both Instagram and Facebook. People. I didn't know you were doing Instagram, Dustin. Sorry. Uh, do you have any plans on working with Proco again in the future? Proko, I hate that guy. <laughs> no, I love Proko. <laughs> Someone's going to go off and do you hear Aaron Blaze hates Proko? <laughs> no, we'd love to do something with Proko. Actually, um, I just talked to him yesterday about the fact that, should we say that we're going to be, we haven't said it publicly yet. Oh, yeah, go ahead. So we were not going to be at Lightbox, but due to a change in schedule, we are going to be at Lightbox. <laughs> so... Uh, Aaron and myself are going to be out there at the end of October, and I actually just talked to Proco, Aaron, about maybe swinging by his booth and doing a demo or something. Oh, that awesome. sounds great. So, we will be working with Proco again very soon. So, here we are. No, I'm, I'm, liking, I'm like this pose. I think I like this pose. Do you have a favorite animal you like to draw? Um... You know, I love drawing, you know, big cats and bears and stuff like that, elephants. And, but, I mean, I really love drawing all animals. Do you have a thing, favorite animal they, you like to draw? I'm just kidding. <laughs> I saw a thing the other day that a, a, they, they estimate a male gorilla in his prime can bench press 4,000 pounds. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So not far off from what I can do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, clearly. All right. So let's uh, let's lighten this up. Lighten up, Francis. All right. How do I maintain the same volume when I animate and body proportions in different uh, positions? You got to really, you got to picture that, that body that you're drawing. You got to picture that um, in, in simple shapes. And that's how you'll, and, and you can rotate those shapes in space in your mind. And that's how you will maintain. Sorry, I'm trying to get this here. That's how, that's how you'll maintain, you know, consistency in the, in the shapes. Why don't you use the color selection box on the right side of the screen? I've noticed many times that you pick your colors by clicking the four, foreground and background. It's just, it's just the way I've always done it. It's just my force of habit. That's the way I like to do it. Emilio says, I, I love so much that video you recorded with Proko at the zoo. It was so much fun to watch. Yeah, I actually, that's the reason I reached, reached out to Proko to see if he would have time to do something maybe at the L.A. Zoo or something. And he said, unfortunately, he will not. He's scared. What do you love more, the beginning or the ending of your work piece? Um, probably the beginning. I like it. it's fun because you're you're you know you're exploring and. And it's, you know, it, anything's possible. Uh, do you consciously uh, think about straights versus curves, or is it all just muscle memory at this point? It's muscle memory, a lot of it at this point. But I, you know, I do, I do, you know, think about it sometimes. If I'm, if I'm struggling with an image, um, you know, I'll go through the list in my head of what, what's causing me to struggle. 
YouTube comment, Blaze and Proco. That feels like an 80s cop show or 70s cop <laughs> show. This week on Blaze and Proco. Proco and Blaze. Which question, uh, Aaron, did you know that uh, <clears throat> Game Freak, who does the Pokemon cards, has an art contest up? And I'd love to see you submit one and have your own Pokemon card. <laughs> I'm sure you would. Aaron's not a, a Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon guy. Uh Oh, sorry, I'm just going past the question. What advice would you give uh, to an artist who procrastinate too much? Stop it. Stop procrastinating. I mean, there's no advice other than just stop doing it. You know, everybody procrastinates a little bit, but, you know, the, the, the only way you, you, you stop doing it is just, you just got to discipline yourself. Have, have some, some discipline. discipline. What does that mean? Mean again to add too much? You're just waiting to the last minute. You're just not. You're not doing stuff when you when you should be doing it. Can I start learning to draw and Stop animate it. at the same time? And if so, do you have any uh, tips for a beginner at both? So say that again. Um, can I start learning to draw and animate at the same time? Of course. Is yeah, so, sure. Do you have any tips for a beginner at both? You, well, it's basically the more you, you know, get in there and start learning the, the fundamentals of animation, that's huge. And then um, the, the best way of getting better at anything is to do it a lot. So get in there, start animating, and draw. And that's how you get better. Uh, do you change uh, the grip on your pen? And uh, does it hurt after long sessions? No, I don't change the grip. And, and uh, no, it doesn't hurt. Or at least I haven't experienced that. Do you know where I can find some course to create animations all, all process of creating? Yeah, right at creatureartteacher.com. We've got all kinds of courses on animation. I've got an introduction to animation where I teach talk about the fundamentals. I've got, um, hold on a second. I've got a, a scene approach. I've got uh, acting for animation. I've got all kinds of stuff. If you go to creatureartteacher.com, I've got all kinds of stuff in there. And um, actually, right now they're buy one get one fifty percent off. It's yeah, I was just gonna say they're they're uh, they're on sale. Instagram comment: I love seeing this stage of painting the most. Thank you for sharing. Absolutely, Absolutely. I love doing it. Yeah, this is this is fun for me. I love. Uh, doing this kind of thing is copy paper okay to use for paper animation yeah if you can get it punched uh it's sure i did it, it it should be durable i remember yeah i think any, anything that's you know I've, I've seen some of the paper that they would use in production on uh, the, the some of the some of the studios i've seen over the years the paper is almost like tissue i'm amazed that they we're able to make anything with it. So copy paper should be fine. I remember when you're when you're punching the paper, uh, close fist and don't uh, sink yeah. your thumb into your hand. There you go. And punch as hard as you can. So here I'm trying to get a little bit of action in his in his uh, pose. Or tree branch or something up here. YouTube question. 
Hi, I'm an animation student from China. I'm, Hi. I'm confused at the beginning of the new animation process, sh whether I should start from the shapes or from structures. My teacher taught us to focus on the edges. I think they mean the lines. So um, how do you start? I always start, start with looking, looking at, at the, the shape, shape, the full shape. shape. So if I'm animating something in the, in the beginning process, I'm drawing a lot like this. I'm thinking about you know, the overall shape of whatever it is that I'm creating. And, um, and then I, you know, I work, basically what I'm, what I always tell everybody is work towards the details. So, you know, don't get too detailed too quickly and start with your broad shapes. Jordan on YouTube says when procreate dreams releases, I can't wait for it and would love to see a course from you guys. Well, there it is in the works. We plan on having a course out the day that Dreams is available or as closely to that as possible. We might even have it out a little early if you're a subscriber to our website. Yes. Uh, also, I would love learning backgrounds. That would be ideal too for animation. Well, you're in luck. <laughs> We're working on that as well. Our, in fact, Armand Serrano, who runs Icon Manila, his background was actually in layout. layout. Uh, yeah, his background was in backgrounds, layout yeah. backgrounds, and so he's working on a course for us <clears throat> that's going to be releasing before the end of the year. It's either going to be right around Christmas time or right around the first of the year that we should hopefully have it out, and it's actually going to be focused on layout and backgrounds for animation. So yep, coming soon to Creature Art Teacher. <clears throat> A Twitch question. Aaron, would you be willing to draw or animate a scientifically accurate velociraptor or microraptor? I got your course on birds of prey, so I think you would do it amazing. That would be a lot of fun. I don't have the knowledge, but uh, if I did some study, I think we could probably do something. It would be a lot of fun. I think you'll have to bone up. I'm going to have to bone up. <laughs> Get a dinosaur. You're powers. fired. See what, I, see what I did there? Dinosaur. Just just leave. I'll see myself out. <laughs> but yeah, for the people who just joined, Armand Serrano, uh, he's on a plane right now heading to the Philippines for Icon Manila, which is a wonderful event. Dustin, we got a slide for that. Uh, yes. If you go to iconmanila.org, tickets are still available. The event's in four or five days, if I'm not mistaken. The dates are up on the screen. And... It's both in person and online. So if you're in the Philippines, strongly encourage you to go in person. If you're watching this from there, if you're anywhere else in the world, go check it out because some of the world's best concept artists are doing live workshops and demos that you can be a part of. Yeah, yeah. it's really and great. Manila. And it's, it's a, great a great cause. Yeah, it's for a great cause. The money that they raise goes to... All of it, too. And all goes, of it. Goes to help with the storms. So they, they, they have problems with monsoons and, and typhoons there. A uh, technical question. Are you using a, an Apple system or a custom-built uh, PC? Apple, Apple system. system. You're, in fact, using the uh, Mac Pro. Yes. All right. So I think, I think we've got something started here that I kind of like. Do you have a book on animation? No, no, but we, we do have, have courses, video courses on animation. We plan on making a book eventually. We'll probably do a character design book first. Yeah. There's a lot of great books on animation. Richard Williams, Animation Survival Kit, uh, the, uh, the Illusion of Life uh, is a Disney book. It's incredible. Oh, Manny says, howdy, Aaron. Ah, hey, Manny. Speak of the devil. Manny and I were just on the phone with each other. Drawing gorillas today. Hope you had a great trip up to uh, Africa, Manny. Oh, he did. They, they were telling me all about it. It was uh, oh, did he? sound pretty awesome. Yeah, yep. made me jealous. Jelly. Jelly, jelly. We're all jelly down here. Any plans to do a series on how to draw monkeys or primates? Yes. I was going to mention that. So we that's probably going to be uh, one of our next how to draw courses. I'm also going to be doing uh, how to draw 
animals from life zoo drawing uh instagram question i've never animated before but i'm very excited for procreate dreams would you say it's user friendly yes i was going to ask that question it is it is user friendly and it's um if you know how to use uh an ipad if you know procreate and, and it's all touch based um then you'll have no problem getting the hang of of uh dreams now it's not going to animate for you you still got to do the animation but it's definitely a very cool interface and very uh, uh, heavy. You can you can handle some really great uh, stuff with it. I think you'll be able to do, they could do a feature with it. I really do. And so um, I'm definitely gonna be using it more. And um, yeah, it's, just, it's really, really good. And uh, my wife has started using it because I still have the beta version and testing it out and she, uh, She's fallen in love with it. And she's never animated, and she's now hooked on trying to animate, which is great. Do you listen to music while working? Yes, all the time. We just can't play music on here because of copyright. Yep. But if you become a member to CreatureArtTeacher.com, twice a week we do private streams over yep. on our website uh, for our annual and monthly members, uh, where Aaron's animating his short film Snow Bear in real time. And uh, if you become a member on those private streams, we do play music. And that's twice a week, so that's kind of like animation school, twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. Yeah, it is. It, it really is. I'm trying to treat it like animation school. And... Um... You know, I want I want everyone that hangs out with me to to learn something and to see what it's like how to create an animated film and uh, you know pick up a little bit each time you watch. We've got a really great group of people that join in every week. We've become like a little family. If you watched last Friday's stream, Aaron was animating on paper. And we put our animation on paper course on sale for five dollars during that event. Well, we went ahead and decided to extend that sale a little bit. So this is your last chance this weekend. If you head over to creatureartteacher.com, you can get Aaron Blaze's animation on paper class for only five bucks. That's its lowest price ever, and that sale ends on Monday. And it's you know, I, I love animating on paper, it's such a lost art form. And the more I, I, I do live streams and demo it and all that kind of stuff, the more I realize how much of a lost form it is, our art form, because I find so many people are um, kind, of, um, kind of oblivious of it and don't really know the history of it. And so it's fun to kind of get in there and, and talk about it and, and, uh, and demonstrate it. So learning it, I think, I think you'd really enjoy it. And it's... You know, it's so low tech that it's really cool that you can create something, you can create life, you know, an animation, and all you need is some paper and pencils and a pegboard, a uh, peg bar, and you can you can do this. Uh, what brushes are you using for this drawing? Oh, uh, this is just a, a drawing brush uh, that I created. It's a custom brush. Uh, actually, you can get this brush on my website at creatureartteacher.com. It's my pastel C brush. You could purchase it or you can get it for free if you become a member of our newsletter. So I wanted this nice sly little smile on his face, which I think we're getting. I love doing character design like this. It's so much fun. I should mention that the uh, brush packs on our website are also part of the buy one, get one 50% off sale. So pick up a bunch. And those brushes work in Procreate. They work across the board. Are the uh, photo packs part of the sale as well? Yes. Nice. Kirk says, I'm loving your animation on paper course. Oh, great. Uh, YouTube question, do you think it's possible to storyboard and procreate dreams like Disney artists do? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. 
Does Dreams have rigging? No, it does not. Not in version one. No, this is this is for 2D. It's it's made for 2D animation. Well, they mean 2D. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. So many people think of that as like how animation is done now. Yeah. For 2D, so yeah, no. And here I am, not even knowing what that is. Yeah. (laughs) It's it's puppet. It's puppet rigs. Yeah, Yeah. that's 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 like like, uh, yeah, like Adobe Animate and all that. Is that what that is? A lot of television shows. When do you think Snow Bear will be finished? And how long uh, Never. do you think the run time of it will be? <laughs> it's 10 minutes. It's exactly 10 minutes. It's 10 minutes and 6 seconds. And, uh, and I know that doesn't sound like much, but I'm the only one making it. And it's all, it's full animation with shadows and all kinds of stuff. So it just takes, it takes a while. Plus we're doing other projects. But we're hoping to have it done by the beginning of next year. By early 2024. We're kind of, I'm hitting a nice stride right now. A YouTube question. Hey, Aaron. I'm, Hi. I'm currently doing a digital painting of a Highland cow. Any advice on painting fur and hair? How would you approach it? Thanks in advance. I, you know, when I paint fur and hair, first of all, I don't paint individual hairs. You paint, you want to paint the masses, the clumps. And then you can break up the edges, you know, of of a hair mass or something like that to indicate fur. You know, sort of like what I'm doing here on this gorilla. Um, But you really look for shapes and the light and shadow that those shapes create. That is how I approach painting fur and hair and... There we go. Uh, you know, if you think about a uh, we got a cow. Brrr. Trying to do a cow out of my head, so forgive me. What do you have to do to get into Disney? You got to be able to buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> Go to Orlando. But you know, for for fur like this, I would you know look for start with those masses. Like you know, if you have fur up on the head, you have fur underneath. But in all seriousness, if you want to get a job at Disney, you have to be a yeah, I mean, you've got to be able to. Be a great animator, right? Yeah, a great animator or a great character designer or great whatever it is that you're that you want to do, and uh, and they're very selective. So you got to you've got to be at the top of your game. So, it's really you know like in here, I would find braces places to break up the edge. And, uh, and just really find ways to simplify the shapes. And then if you need to add a little bit, bit of detail wherever your uh, center of interest is, then, then do that. But, um, you know, that's how, I, that's how I approach painting fur, is just start with the big shapes first, think about the light and shadow on those shapes, and then break that down. Uh, don't get to the point where you're painting every every hair. Um, you don't need to do that. But uh, you know you can break down the detail according to wherever your center of interest is. Center of interest, you're going to have a little bit more contrast, more detail, that sort of thing. But uh, there you go. Does the Procreate Dreams have audio scrubbing? Yes. Yes.
I kind of jump all over the place too when I'm working. Aaron, have you seen the uh, ape going around on YouTube where he's eating peppers and farting? <laughs> no. But that's a video I would like. <laughs> People who want to draw cows should go to Cow Arts. <laughs> that was uh, Leandro on YouTube. Credit for the, the dad joke. How important for animation is training or learning to draw faster? Um, it's a small part. Learning to draw quickly is definitely um, part of the job at a certain point. But when you're first learning, it, it's not. It, it's more about quality than speed. It's always going to be more about the quality. I'm planning on drawing and painting some pandas. Do you have any tips on how to draw them? <clears throat> yeah, matter of fact, I've got a I've got a, a course on how to draw bears, and I cover pandas in my course. If you go to creatureartteacher.com, there's a whole course on uh, I talk about all eight species of bears worldwide. There's eight species, and I touch on all of them, including pandas. I just posted a link in the comments on Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. Take a look. And that is also part of the buy one, get one 50% off sale. So pick that up in another animal drawing class while you're there. <laughs> it's fun putting them in a suit. Monkey suit. Zoha on Instagram uh, says, sorry, I got disconnected. Uh, is your course beginner friendly? Yes. Uh, went to school for animation, but I barely learned anything. So I'm looking for opportunities to learn from scratch. I would love to draw. Well, yes, my uh, all my courses, I kind of, I pride myself on being kind of clear and the way that I teach. Let's, let's throw some color on here. Get some color going. Let's get some color going. Bring out the color palette. I'm in a brown suit. Well, these character designs are fun to do, aren't they? I love doing these. Mm -hmm. It's that guy with a uh, brown jacket. Yeah, because his, his fur is going to be kind of blue, black. So I thought I'd kind of go complimentary. A complimentary uh, clash of colors. Yeah.
Happy World Gorilla Day on Sunday. I have a question. What was the longest animated movie you worked on? They all are basically the same length, all the films that I've ever worked on. We all, you know, we always shot for 83 to 84 minutes, which is an hour and 24 minutes, 23 minutes. So that's pretty much the longest I ever worked on. Is that because Disney figured they could manage it better if they knew what the exact runtime was and that's what they always shot for? Well, we, was that the thinking behind that? It was, it, no, it came down to budget, really. I mean, it, well, that's it's, what I mean. The budget, they could manage it if they know. Hey, yeah. For, yeah, exactly. And, you know, it's, it's, it's the right length for kids sitting in the theater. You get much longer than that, they get fidgety. And, um, you know, our, our target audience is, is, eight to 12 years old. That was always our target. And then you try to include everybody else as well. But if you lose the eight to 12 year olds, then you're missing your mark. We always used to say. And uh, so that amount of time was always a good number to shoot for. Plus it, you know, that's a healthy budget. You're talking, you know, 90 million uh, up to a hundred million dollars to do 84 minutes. At least in Disney dollars. We know other people can do it cheaper, other studios. Speaking of Disney dollars, did you ever have any of those they had at the parks? Uh, no, I don't think I did. Those are worth like more than regular dollars now. I'm sure they are. Collector's items. Yeah. They used to be a one to one thing in the park. Wow. And now they're worth inflation. So they're actually, yeah, it's kind of crazy. Wow. Give them like an orange tie. Uh, do you use reference images, or can you pretty much draw straight from uh, memory? Um, I can draw a gorilla from memory, but the, I'm, I'm using ref, reference uh, images today that I just pulled off. You know, I've got this. Oops. I've got this one here. We had a minor little hiccup in the stream, but we're good. It just froze for a second. Got that there. Um, I've got suit. Whoops. I'm gonna hate it when you. When you do Bob that. says a million dollars a minute seems so crazy to me. That was back in the day too. Yeah, it's more like two million now. Yeah. But you got to think. There's 350 people working on these movies. So, do the salary. Up. Yeah. You know, and they take years to make. We were burning, you know, when we had everybody on the crew working on Brother Bear, we were burning uh, about $850,000, $900,000 a week. That's a that peak production. Right? Yeah, and that's just in salaries. Which is why you spend so much time in pre-production. You keep the crew small. Right? Exactly, exactly. So these are the reference images that I'm using right now. So... Obviously, I'm not copying, but I'm getting, I'm, I'm seeing how, you know, proportions and, and things like that. You know, even things for like suits, I don't, I don't take it for granted. You know, a good example of something like that is um, when we're always talking about, you know, make sure you use reference because some artists, they just refuse to use it or they get lazy or they think it's cheating or whatever. And I always say, okay, if, because uh, the average artist can't do this, sit down and draw me a bicycle draw a bicycle and do it without reference and let me see how that comes out and i'll guarantee you that bicycle will not be drawn right yeah uh we mentioned armand earlier but he has a visual development course on our website which is part of the fall sale and um all of our courses are buy one get one 50 percent off but in his of course, he actually talks about a bicycle. He, 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 he mentions a bicycle, but then he does, okay, I'm going to draw a Volkswagen Beetle. And yeah. <laughs> he's like, I'm pretty sure I know what one looks like. And he does one, and you're like, oh, yeah, that's pretty close. And then he goes and gets reference and goes, if you see, this is the difference of what it looks like with the reference. Yeah. And you just see it. Just, it's like, like night and day. Yeah. Yeah. The first one was passable. People would know what you're, you're getting at, but it's yeah. not not believable compared to the real one.
This is all using the pastel C brush, correct? Yes. The coloring too? Yep. yep. Uh, with watercolor painting, do you always draw straight onto paper or even transfer? It's no, so I, much harder than digital. I, <laughs> I draw right onto it. I draw right onto the paper. All right, now let's get uh what's next what's the next step there, bud? I'm doing the face, doing the head, doing the body. Doing the head. Headshot. Oops. I want to let people know that are just joining that we released a new course today. We have a new storyboarding course up on creatureartteacher.com. It's uh, 24 hours of lessons uh, just happened to work out that way. So you could watch it a full day if you wanted to, back to back to back. <laughs> over 20 hours of lessons, over 24 hours of lessons, including in the course. Uh, we've It was on pre-order. It's out now, but we've extended the special pre-order pricing 50% off through today. So you have till midnight tonight, you can still get it for 50% off. That price goes up tomorrow. So head on over to CreatureArtTeacher.com. It's an amazing course. Woody Woodman is an uh, incredible story artist and director. He's worked on over 300 shorts. He's directed tons of episodes of Odd Bods, which is a YouTube sensation that's had over 7 billion views. He's worked on Treasure Planet. He's worked on Brother Bear, tons of movies. It's a really great course. Go check it out. It's up now. Holy moly. What are the skills you think one needs to be a good director? Um, you need to be a great communicator. You need to understand story inside and out. Inside and out, you gotta understand story. You gotta be able to let the people that you've hired do their job, do not micromanage. You will lose your crew that way. Let people contribute. It's your job to guide the ship not your job to to make the actual movie now there's some people that that do demand a, a bit more control um but they tend to be you know kind of independent if you're working for a big company doing animated projects you're working with a lot of people and it requires um the ability to uh, listen to and accept new ideas beyond your own uh, Instagram question, what time are your streams on Monday and thir or Tuesday and Thursday? I want to subscribe, but I want to know if I'm free when the streams are on. Uh, so they are every Tuesday and Thursday at 10 a.m. Eastern time. That's East Coast United States. Uh, but you can rewatch them later. So they're all if you're a subscriber, you can go back. We just had our 115th stream, I think. Yeah. So, yeah, if you come if you become a member, you can go back and watch every single stream we've done up to this point. For the last year and a half, almost yeah, a half well, July. No, we just had the one year, so year and a few months. Yeah. I was wondering, are you going to do anything special for Disney's 100th anniversary as well as Brother Bear's 20th anniversary? Well, we're gonna we're gonna be out at CTN in November. We're gonna be doing a little panel with uh, Brother Bear. And we've got some YouTube videos planned as well around the the. 20th anniversary of Brother Bear. And we'll probably do something for Disney's 100th as well. Yeah. So here, what I'm going to do... Ooh. Yeah, we'll have a uh, sit-down interview with, uh, with Walt Disney himself. Yes. How many movies have you worked on? Uh, I think 10. Uh, including short films or just full length features, you count just full length features, it would be Rescuers, Beauty and the Beast, Aladdin, 
Lion King, Pocahontas, Mulan, uh, Brother Bear. That's seven. Um, and then I've contributed to, um, in some form or another, to about another five. And then there was another two movies that you worked on that didn't end up getting released. Right. So now what I'm doing is I'm just creating local color, pushing variances in the color. Uh, what brush do you use to color over the previous color you just used? Same, Same brush. brush. Same brush. This is a very versatile brush. Do you just change the scale of the brush? Or... Yeah, I just change the scale of it. I change the, uh, some of the attributes, but it's same brush. Uh, are you open to getting volunteers for Snow Bear uh, uh, coming soon? Not currently. We just don't have the means to do it. And uh, right now, it's it's kind of my goal to do it all on my own anyway. It's just something I've always wanted to do, make my own film. And so, uh, but future films, I think future films, it's, I think we're going to go out of our way to actually open it up to other people to help out and... There's all kinds of possibilities of what we're going to do. In Ryan the on YouTube says, is it helpful to learn storyboarding even if your goal is to be an illustrator? Yeah, I mean, it never hurts to learn to learn that well, as, as an illustrator. Any kind of sequential storytelling uh, helps as an illustrator. I totally agree. And you always say that the story artists have to be some of the best artists on the crew so you're talking about you have to be able to imagine characters in any scenario in any setting and doing any sort of possible action from any angle yeah i would absolutely say you'll become a better illustrator if you practice storyboarding and vice versa would you be interested in turning snow bear into a feature if the studio wanted to pick it up uh, I mean, sure. I just I don't know that Snow Bear, the 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 story itself doesn't lend itself, and at least the story we have now, it lends itself more to a short yeah. story. It was designed that. It way. It was designed that way exactly. Um, but uh, you know, I'm I'm definitely think he's going to be a recurring character. We could do other other episodes with our. With our good guys. Just a reminder, Aaron, it's two o'clock. Just so. Okay. Your time. Still got an hour. So I'm going to jump jumping. into laying out, doing the. Uh... I'd say we probably have more like 45, 50 yeah. minutes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to start laying in some shadow. Let's have some fun with this. I'm going to grab a, another drink real quick. Uh, do you guys want anything? I'm good at the moment. Thank you, though. Yeah. I'm good. Good. So what I've done is I've created a new layer and I've set it to multiply and I'm going to lay in some of the shadows here. And I'm back. And he's back. I'm back. And now you can see it a little better, hopefully. Do you have any more movie or short ideas? Yeah, we have tons. I've got tons. I've got enough. Ideas to keep me busy till I die. Lots and lots.
Unfortunately, Osama, I don't think I saw your question before uh, either because um, the Instagram uh, comment feed keeps freezing up. I'm constantly needing to refresh the the feed to get the uh, questions running again. So you can ask the question again, see if I already asked it. Uh, do zebras migrate with wildebeest? Yeah. Yeah, they'll move with them as well. In fact, in the uh, photo reference uh, pack of Africa, you can see uh, uh, zebras mixed with uh, wildebeest together during the uh, Great Migration that I got. Actually, we did answer their question, Dustin. It was the live streams are Tuesdays and Thursdays at... 10 a.m. Eastern, oh, okay. and you can rewatch them later. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, I know this was asked uh, earlier, but this is uh, this is a newcomer that just hopped in. Uh, what software are you using, and uh, how much does it cost? Right now, I'm using Photoshop, and uh, you can get a subscription. You can have an Adobe subscription, or you can can you still buy it on its own? Subscribe to it on its own, Nick. You know, I honestly do not know. I can't remember if you can or cannot. So, but I, um, do still I, I have a full subscription to the entire Adobe suite. Uh, and that's about $50 a month. I think they still have a photography plan that includes, it basically includes Photoshop and Lightroom, I think is what it is. I use Photoshop just because it's what I've used for years and years. I know there's a lot of, everyone's going to tell me that there's a lot of other options out there, which I'm aware of. It's kind of like me and my uh, editing photos, like Lightroom is my, my go-to, even though there's quite a few other uh, yeah. editing softwares. I'd say for photography, Lightroom is pretty much the industry standard, though, for yeah. professionals. I would imagine, right? Yeah, there there are some other good ones. Uh, there's like uh, Topaz. Or I think is that how you pronounce it? Topaz. 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 Um, yeah, like to Topaz and uh, uh, Luminar. <laughs> Topaz. Topaz. Luminar. And, and Luminar. Well, Topaz is more like packages for effects. They don't mm -hmm. really have a... But they, they do have the... Um, uh, being able to clean out the, the noise. Of That's what I mean. It's, it's more like individual effects. It's not like a full... Like they've got a... They've got a standalone thing for up -resing. They've got a standalone thing for removing noise. They're, mm -hmm. they're not really like a full photo editing software for editing raw photos and sliders and all that stuff. Right. For people just joining us, I want to let you know that over at Creature Art Teacher, which is Aaron's website, we have over 700 hours of art and animation lessons on sale. And actually right now we're running our fall sale where you can buy one course and get one for 50% off. So that includes any single uh, class, any single brush set, any single photo pack. Um, buy one, you get one of equal or lesser value for 50% off. Uh, that starts today. And if you're interested, uh, we sell all of our courses a la carte, so you can get them as part of that sale. Or we actually also, also offer a membership plan. And our memberships, we, we, we like to call it the best value in art education. Uh, wrong slide on that one. That's fine. Yeah, sorry about that. That's okay. Uh, our memberships are, uh, you know, we've got two plans. We've got an annual plan, which for a flat fee, fee gets you everything we have on the website, plus everything we release over the next year. And what's cool about the annual plan is you get to download and keep everything. So it really is the best value in art education. So that's over 700 hours, hundreds of brushes, all of the photo packs, all included. No one should ever have to go broke trying to learn. Exactly. 
or you can also become a monthly streaming member if you prefer and that works kind of like netflix so you can stop and start anytime uh the biggest difference with that plan is it's month to month and you get to you only get streaming access with that with the annual plan you get both streaming and download so uh, head on over to creatureartteacher.com and check those plans out having fun are you having a good day? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you having a good time, Megan? <laughs> uh, do you know who animated Sebastian the Little Mermaid? Sebastian was animated by, I think, Duncan Marjorie Banks. That's a, that's a name. Yes. <laughs> uh, Aaron, do you think you'll do a more advanced course on paper animation in the future? Yeah, people keep asking that, and uh, it's definitely not outside the realm of possibility. I mean, is there, what would you say you would cover in a more advanced? More character stuff, because all I really did was cover the basics. Right. So it'd be more, you know, dialogue. Similar and what you touch on in your acting for animation. Yeah. But if you actually check out the animation classes on our website, they're actually designed while Aaron tends to use TV paint. Um, yeah, you, you can follow along with anything else. Yeah, the whole idea is they're, they're designed around fundamentals and principles that you could apply to any piece of software or pencil and paper for that. Matter. Yeah. Just gonna rough sketch all this stuff in. Have you seen any of the Ghibli movies, and what do you think of Hayao Miyazaki's animation and storytelling style? I love them. Yes, I've seen them, and I love them. What is it you like about them? I love the spiritualness of them. I love the art style. I love the layout and design. Uh, his background, the, the background styles, I just think are stunning. Um, all of that. I just think they're really, really great films, and they're so not Western style animated film so i really i like the, the the freshness of that yeah aaron has been to studio ghibli and met i have yes person. yes i have i'm really looking for the the boy in the hair and it's coming out yeah that's gonna be great is there any way to see you in person well um, i'll be i'll be at Lightbox uh, in Pasadena, California, in uh, at the end of October, and then uh, we'll be back out again in Los Angeles um, in November, middle of November, sixteenth, seventeenth, and eighteenth, I think. Yes, and that will be for CTN. And we've got a few things planned over the next year or two that we'll be doing uh, on our own as well. So what I'm doing right now is I'm, I'm just getting kind of loose with it, but I'm, uh, you know, this might be a character drawing that I would submit for a film or something like that if we have this character. There are so many anatomy books out there. Which book do you recommend? Oh man, there's a lot. Um, if you're talking about human anatomy, then um, uh, Samantha Samantha Yusuf is uh, fantastic. I think her books have print. I was looking it up the other day. Oh, is it? Yeah. Because I'd really like to get her to come in and do a course with us. Zanji's watching. She he says this palette is so pleasing. <laughs> Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not going to really mess with the background. I'm just doing character. Plus, we're going to have to sign off here fairly soon. Yeah, it's almost uh, 2.15. Kirk says, Aaron, it's so great to see you with your cap on, your brother bear cap and long hair. <laughs> I remember this look when you first started on YouTube. Uh, <laughs> it's iconic. That hat is iconic as Bob Ross's hair. <laughs> I don't know about that, but it's, uh, it is. It's, it's right up there. We're going back to our roots. Funny. If you like uh, what you're seeing today, make sure uh -oh. you hit the like button or the share button or the subscribe button on whatever platform you're watching us on. It really helps us a lot, especially if you share the videos. That really helps. Um, <clears throat> you know, we're trying to expand the audience and reach more people and you know, we, the the best way to do it is if you help us out, if you're so inclined. Uh, just a heads up, guys. It looks like the uh, stream is starting to fluctuate a little bit. We're losing some frames. Okay. Still looking good on YouTube. We were, we were losing some frames uh, over on Instagram and Facebook. It, it was... Well, it was it was down the red a few a few times just a few gotcha. seconds ago. Aaron, do you have any opinions on AI art? <laughs> I get asked that question every time we do a live stream. I, I do have that's opinions that's on it. Um, it's inevitable. Um, I, uh, it's here to stay. Um, I don't know whether it's good or bad. I think there's bad ways of training it. Uh, there's eth more ethical ways of training it. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's, it's, it's moving along so fast, it's hard for me to even speculate. I mean, there's no doubt it's going to have an impact on... Yeah, it's going to have an impact on everything. It'll have an impact on us. Uh, that makes me nervous. I don't I don't know what the impact will be. But, um, you know, we have a... We have a business that we... Our whole business is based on teaching people how to create art. And so if our business is impacted because people are going to take the shortcut and use AI, then, you know, that that bothers me. Yeah, if you're watching on Instagram, hit that heart button. That will help us. We appreciate it. Yeah, I think, it, I, you know, I think with everything still so in flux, you know, I, the Dolly 3 or whatever just came out, and, and they, I don't want to speak too highly of it, but at least there were some indications that they're trying to make an effort to let artists opt out of the training platforms, um, it should be opt in if you asked me, but, but, you know, hopefully people keep having conversation about it and that's going to, that's going to mold what it becomes. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, it's, it's a touchy subject for sure. Like all technology, I think it's going to have pros and cons you know there's it's it's going to eliminate some things but it's going to create whole new things mind if i uh answer zombie's question because he's asking me if uh if i have any photo adventures on the horizon uh, yes we do mind actually sorry <laughs> of course <laughs> go for it okay. <laughs> I'll be quiet. No, um, uh, well, now that uh, summer is starting to end, um, things are starting to cool off. I'm definitely planning on getting back out out in the field again, as far as here in Florida, and uh, got a few few packs uh, in the works. One of a humming hummingbird pack, another of uh, uh, a part two of Florida wildlife that, that I currently have uh, in my collection. And uh, in November, probably uh, after uh, we're all back from CTN, 
uh, we're gonna get hopefully it'll be cool enough outside to actually be able to get cranking on the uh, official uh, course on the introduction to photography. So those are all the my official plans towards the end of this year. So, well, there you go. Well, there you go. <clears throat> And uh, uh, Becca Larson on uh, Facebook is asking, any word on when Ronnie's new watercolor course is uh, to be coming out? Probably in about three weeks, three to four weeks. I was just going to say seven. Yeah, he just he just delivered it to us. It's looking great. And uh, but we've we've got a few other things we got to take care of before we can get to that. Looking pretty good there, bud. But it's coming along. Hey, an hour and 15 minutes into the stream, I think I just fixed the echo. <laughs> <laughs> it was very slight, but what was happening is the sound was going back through the board and coming back. That's what I thought, because I, I was hearing it before, and I couldn't figure out why it was doing that. Right. I just couldn't figure out what channel it was on to turn it turn it down, and I think I just figured it out. Ah. Very peculiar, sir. Selma says, can't wait to get paid and purchase the membership. I've purchased six courses so far, but I'm now committing fully. Good for you. Welcome, yeah, aboard. welcome aboard. It's welcome about time. Aboard. It's a great way to save your money. If, um, if you've purchased those recently enough, uh, there should be an option to upgrade when you log into your account. It'll actually let you apply your recent purchases to credit towards a membership. So we really are trying to make this the best value in art education. So, yeah. How dangerous is a giant ant eater? Oh, and frame boy frame on, on Twitch says same here. Nice. Awesome. You guys, the giant ant eaters. Are, I mean, they've, they don't really have much for jaws, but they've got claws. They don't have much for jaws, Pally, but they got claws. They got the claws there, Patty. <clears throat> so that was I was fun to draw. I want to remind people, speaking of courses and memberships and all that, that our paper animation course that Aaron did, it's one of our more popular courses, came out about in the last 12 months, is uh, only $5 right now at Creature Art Teacher. That is an insanely good deal. That's the lowest price ever. That's like 85% off. Absolutely um, huge. Aaron takes you through the principles of animation as they apply to being used on paper and all the stuff you have to consider when you're, you know, how to flip, how to use X sheets, all kinds of stuff. Uh, you know, if you want to learn sort of the lost art of the way it was done in the old days, um, you know, check that out. You can pick that up for just $5. And that goes along with our fall sale where everything is buy one, get one, 50% off. So that's any single course, uh, artist photo reference pack, brush pack, all of those are buy one, get one, 50%. It's a huge deal, folks. <laughs> YouTube comment, this gorilla looks so sassy. <laughs> he is sassy. He's got that drip. Uh, how many cheetahs did you see in the in the Mara? Oh, tons of them. It was probably the, all the same cheetahs we saw over each day, but <laughs> we saw them a lot each day we'd go out. There was five brothers one year and four brothers the next. Yeah, the, the year that I went, uh, we saw the same family twice. On the first and second days. Yeah. 
And uh, and then I think the next two days after that, we saw the four brothers. And I think we saw like one or two other random cheetahs out out in the field here and there. But yeah, we we saw the those two particular cheetah groups uh, quite a few times throughout the trip. Yeah. Art enthusiast on YouTube says, "I connected to YouTube in the hope that you were streaming, and you are. Yep, we're here. here. We are. <laughs> so on YouTube, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button, but also click that little bell icon and click all notifications. That way, when we go live, it should send you a push notification whenever we go live. It doesn't always seem to work, but that greatly increases your chances of knowing when we're." Or don't do that. It's all up to you. Exactly. We don't care. You do you, boo. <laughs> you two, or Twitch comment, Aaron, any chance you can add some casino chips from flying in off screen? This looks <laughs> like a gambling gorilla. <laughs> That's not a bad idea. Who animated Denahi in Brother Bear? Denahi was animated by Ruben Aquino. Ah. And Ruben Aquino was also responsible for Ursula and the Little Mermaid. And Powhatan. And Pocahontas. He was also the supervising animator of Adult Simba and the Lion King. A big lag on this because it's such a big document. Yeah, such a big brush. With that, with that suit, I'm just picturing the gorillas saying something like, I'm here to talk about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> I think your warranty's just, expired. I think we just came up with a caption for this. <laughs> your warranty's expired. I'd like to talk to you about your car's extended warranty. There's all my plant brushes. Did you switch to Geico yet? <laughs> Martin wants to know if you've saved... Oh, yeah. Oh, it automatically okay. saves. I'm not too worried about it. There's water. There's it my automatically plants. saves when you haven't saved the first time? Yeah. Yeah, if I, if, I, if this were to crash, I, it, would, it would retrieve it. It'd be a, it would be a recovered document. Because I've had it's that fun. happen. One, one of these days we'll be having a stream during, during the middle of the storm, and you're going to say that. And right when you say that, everything's going to go down in the file. <laughs> I didn't say that, but yeah, it's Aaron true. is a big believer in the tech gods. He's uh... <laughs> he he has the belief that he is he he, he has immunity <laughs> to uh, tech issues. Oh no no he doesn't. Oh no I don't believe that. <laughs> he actually makes a small sacrifice every evening to the tech gods. Exactly. And he, and it's seldom. Is that why I always forget forget yesterday because I'm just a sacrificial clone man? Yeah. I'm using my, my foliage brushes to cheat here. <laughs> I don't know why, but all of a sudden I, I was just thinking of uh, a, that as a Rick and Morty episode. Do you know any of the animators who worked on Emperor's New Groove? I know them all. That's not a great And the producer and the director. Was that a Florida production? No. Oh, was it, Cal it, was, it California. was California. Yeah. California. Was that after the Florida studio closed or was it? No, it was, uh, they were making that actually while we were making Brother Bear, I, be I believe.
Uh, Nick O'Draw on uh, Instagram says, very beautiful work, Master Aaron Blaze. I'm a Brazilian <laughs> fan. Thank you. Thank you to you in Brazil. Oh, wow. This is amazing. How do you just send this? Have you seen this yet? Oh. Huh. Like what? Somebody said it. What? Took about 20 hours, but they did this inspired by Aaron Blaze well, art. Holy moly. Look at that. Oh, hey, what? Where'd it go? Oh. Wow. Sophie Keep on Instagram. I want to buy it. I want to buy it. <laughs> Sophie underscore keep on Instagram posted an amazing image uh, where she created plushie. Well, I don't even know how you describe it. It's not quite. It's a plushie, I guess. Yeah. Um, oh, that's awesome. I'm being serious. I want to buy it. <laughs> see if I can get the link. Martin's asking, what would this creature sound like? I think I answered that earlier. I don't know where it would be like a like a British accent or like a Well, I think I'm going to wrap that up. That was fun to do. Yeah. yeah I do like uh, that uh, faded foliage in the back. There we go, folks. Our little gorilla character. I just left the branch undone. But this is... Apparently you know, she posted that back in February. We're just oh, re oh, really? Really? Yeah. Oh. Oh, come on. Well, we got to contact that person. So there we are. There's our our gorilla in a suit. <laughs> a gorilla suit. Ask, uh, asking about the extended warranty. Yes, extend, uh, asking about the extended warranty. So anyway, that was fun. Happy Gorilla Day on Sunday. Yep. World, World Gorilla, Gorilla Day. Day. This Sunday. World Gorilla. Sunday. Sunday, Sunday. So I hope you guys want to go over the sales one more time. Yes. So right now over at Creature Art Teacher, we just released a brand new course, Storyboarding with Woody Woodman. Woody is a seasoned story artist and director. He's worked on films like Treasure Planet, uh, Tarzan, Brother Bear, uh, worked with Lucas Arts, worked with Ardman, uh, works on Odd Bods. He's done directed hundreds of shorts. Uh, he is an incredible teacher and storyboard artist. His course is out now. We've extended the 50% off sale through tonight. Go pick it up. While you're there, take advantage of our buy one, get one 50% off fall sale. That applies to everything on the website, everything right now, all. Any single art class, animation tutorial, brush set, photo pack, buy one, get one 50% off. I want to let you know that our good friend Armand Serrano has his event coming up in just a few days, Icon Manila. If you go to iconmanila.org, there's still some tickets available. That is an in-person and online event that supports a great cause. Go there, check it out, and you can watch tutorials from, from some of the world's best concept artists. <clears throat> and finally, this is your last weekend to get Aaron's Animation on Paper course for just $5. That's Animating on Paper with Aaron Plays for $5. This weekend only, sale ends Monday. Get it while it's hot. CreatureArtTeacher.com. <laughs> there we go. CreatureArtTeacher.com. <laughs> It's Friday, everybody. Go out have a good time. I had a good time drawing for you today. And uh, we'll be back again on Friday next. Yeah. And uh, uh, remember, if you remember, join me every Tuesday and Thursday as I'm making our next film, Snow Bear. Matter of fact, do I have that up? No, I don't have it. Yeah, memberships are on sale, too. Let me show you. Let me pull up my... Uh, let me see my last... There's one more thing. There's always one more thing. Here's Only the last shot I just did. Just finished it up. Just finished doing shadows. And this is like, you know, this is one of the things I teach is, um, you know, it's not just going to be learning how to do character animation. 
It's background painting. I'm doing all the backgrounds, doing effects animation. I'm doing, you know, the shadows and the lighting and everything else. So I just finished doing that. And so you get a lesson in all that kind of stuff, how to make a full animated feature. So this is what we're doing. And uh, so if you want to do that, come on over and become a member and join me every Tuesday and Thursday in the morning um, when we're not having uh, streaming hiccups. But other than that, um, we're going to be there. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed today. We really had a great time. There is our gorilla. Happy Gorilla Day, uh, World Gorilla Day on Sunday. Go on out there, put some beauty back into the world, and we will see you next time. Thanks. Goodbye, Bye, everybody. Thank you.